All right, let's just finally get into it. Let's make sure that this is, yep, full volume. All right, cool. Let's check it out. Hi, this is Mike. I was just calling to see if that job that you offered was still available. Yes. The security guard. I will take anything. This place was huge in the 80s with the kids. They shut it down years ago. The owner's just not ready to let it go yet. I will work and you will sleep. I understand. Come here, Ed. So he does bring her along. Willingly, it seems. All you have to do is keep your eyes on the monitor. The to Welcome first dollar to up there. Fazbear's, where fantasy and fun come to life. Okay. Oh yeah. You must be a new security guard. Can I uh, help you, officer? Have you met them yet? Met who? Them. <laughs> In the 80s, kids went missing. The police searched Freddy's top to bottom. Hello? They never found them. That's why the place shut down. There are ghost children possessing giant robots. Thanks for the heads up. Technically, they're animatronics. Start. What do they want? They want to make her like them. Bobby! Tell me how to stop them. <laughs> it's too late. Cup jump mm -hmm. scare, please. Mm -hmm. Bobby, go! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where to? Why do I always Corey. get the weirdos? <laughs> Corey. That's that's so cool that Corey is actually like like has a role. That's that's so cool. Corey has a role. Uh, I believe all like Daco Razbaz and Ryan are all they were security guards in the background, so all that's super cool. Okay. I'm so bad at reacting to things like as it goes on, I'm I'm no Doc. I'm not like Daco. I can't be like oh, 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 Vanessa, oh, oh. like I can't I can't do that. I can't do that stuff. <laughs> Sorry, Daco. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> um. Okay, so I need I need to I need to go through this Hi, and like actually Mike. I was just take a to peek at all this. That you offered was still available. Steve Raglan. That's that's fascinating. So that's that's definitely not like a name of her. Cause we okay. So that's also setting up. We know for a fact that he's Willie Mafton. So he has his own other name to like get out of the stuff he used to have. Still wondering though now is like, is Mike actually related? That's one of the things I've always wondered about. Noel FNAF lore is 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 Michael actually related? To William, because you never know. Maybe we've just been thinking they're related. I don't know. <laughs> the owner's just not ready to let it go yet. I will. The owner's just not ready to let it go yet, and that sounds like that's coming from William. So I'm assuming that Henry still has, or in this movie, Uncle Hank <laughs> will work and has will the, sleep. The I stuff. understand. And it seems like. It's hard to tell, but it seems like he brings her along, brings Abby along anyways. But this could be later in the movie when she comes along with him, and he's like, "Bring him up to." Yeah. Because some of these seem like he's just kind of on his own. Oh. So yeah, there you have the cameos. Now we're just waiting for oh, the Markiplier cameo, you know. <laughs> so I saw the hit me first dollar. <laughs> oh, gotta love that. 
Oh, Foxy on the Cove. That's really cool. Okay. 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 And now Vanessa. This is the, this is where I'm just like, what what are what are they doing here? What's what's the deal here? What's going on here? Cause like, you, bro, you can't just put a character named Vanessa in here and it not connect. It's so annoying. Okay, I, I, I immediately put it out the masks. You see the awful merch masks? That's really funny that they actually added that in. I love that. The police searched Freddy's top to bottom. Okay, um, nothing particularly in this, but it's, okay, so that's, that's actually kind of cool to see. So it looks like this is the main stage over here, and this is Pirate's Cove, I believe. So they're not as separated as we were led to believe, it seems. This is actually, like, really close to the Pizzeria Simulator way of doing it, where you had, like, the main stage on one side and then that over there. How funny actually would it be if it was like, nah. I was gonna say, how funny would it be if the thing underneath the pizza plex was actually this restaurant? <laughs> and we just never knew it. Nah, I doubt that. It's why the Hold on, I wanna... So these are... I'm not sure who these characters are supposed to be, but I'm assuming they're like just drifters or something like that. That just got in over their head or something like that. Maybe a think in the past. The place shut down. So here, this is, I believe, no, is that, is that, no, that's not, hang, okay. Someone else. There are... Also, the, so it's two different scenes, because you can see the shirt's blue. I noticed that immediately. It's like, this is like the police officer, because he's got a brown jacket, but it looks like the, the jacket is blue in that. There are ghost children possessing giant robots. Oh. There's ghost children possessing giant robots. So, who I'm presuming is... Fritz, just keeping the the foxy stuff going, and obviously, so yeah, so that's confirming these are indeed the missing children's spirits. So he is able to see the spirits, and I think my I think my assumption is right that he gets transported into this like spirit world where he can see them. Um, f fascinating as well that this Vanessa is more of like a like full on like, police officer, not just a normal, like, security guard. It looks like she's a full-on, like, state police officer or county officer or whatever. What I really like that. That's a, that's a pretty cool shot. What do they want? We got Bonnie. They want to make her so, okay. I'm just gonna peek through some of these, see if anything, like, stands out as, like, really interesting. Not, not particularly. I like, I, I like the pizza dudes over here. I like that one. You got Balloon Boy. That's that's kind of interesting. So does that mean I know I know it said like there was someone who's cast as Balloon Boy, so maybe maybe Balloon Boy is just part of like the original Freddy's and I don't know. Weird. Um But no signs of the puppet. Which is fascinating. Wait, what's that? I think that's just oh that's just a house, okay. I saw from a distance, and I thought that was Candy Cadet. I was like, wait, what? Make okay, her what was? like them. So, they want to make her like them. I don't... I don't think that's actually what's... But, fascinating that, like... Foxy's looking over, while Abby's behind him. So, it almost seems like he's trying to protect her. That's That's always been my theory, is that they're not trying to get her. They're trying to protect her. And that they think Mike is, like, evil, I guess. So they're trying to protect her from Mike, but it's all a misunderstanding. Happy. But, hold on, I'm actually gonna, let me, let me just look at Foxy for just a little longer. Like, I'm, I'm so happy that we finally get, like, a full good look at Foxy. Like, he looks, oh my gosh. I would, I would kill for one of these puppets. Like, this, this is just awesome. Like, I'm so excited for this movie. Happy. And the the cupcake. I really hope we get cupcake jump scare. That would be so funny. Oh. I don't remember if you were a character already. I don't know who you are. Look at them just chilling. 
Like they're just they're just vibing. <laughs> I love that. That's great. See, that's what that's what I hope for in this movie is like I want I want it to be silly. I want I want it to be fun. Like I kind of want just scenes of them kind of just chilling. Them not actually being like like villains of the movie. They're just kind of existing and they're just being like, yeah, we're we're alive, unfortunately. Like but then, like, something happens later in the film, and then they, like, go into rage mode or something like that, so now they're, like, like, they can't control themselves. <laughs> Who would that be? Hold on. Because this is, like, in a... Oh, this is probably Mike's mom or whatever. Because the heels and stuff. <laughs> so, Vanessa seems to get hurt at some point. Got Mike beating up someone, and then the the man of the hour, which that's really fascinating. The fact that he's here, and it makes me wonder what's what's his role going to be. So, spring trap. Like I need, we need to talk about this for a second. Spring trap obviously is. He was after the location closed down, and William is, like, inside. I'm pretty sure the, like, the amount of rotting that is currently going on with the suit to make him look like spring trap, you know? I think that that rot amount of rotting already happened by the time, like, William gets spring-locked. And I still think that the, the FNAF 3 minigames happen, like... A year or two. Like, it is... He didn't die in the suit and then, like, sit there for 30 years. I'm pretty confident. He, like, died and then, like, not long after got found for the attraction. I could be wrong about that, though, but... So, the fact he's here in this movie... When we've... We, we just saw William is alive. And actually, like, gave Mike the job. That's really fascinating. So either this is a jump into the future kind of thing, or this is like he gets spring locked during the movie, and like that all happens. Well, I guess we'll have to see. And then this, this is still like you Why cannot convince me. You can't convince me that that's not Fred Bear. No one can convince me that this isn't Fred Bear. Just, just casual. It's giving me the same. <laughs> it's giving me the same vibes as like Slappy in the Goosebumps movies. Just kind of chilling. Like he's just kind of there. Like this is this is nothing weird. Just he's there. It's great. But I I'm pretty confident that this isn't Freddy. This is Fred Bear because of the golden color and all that. And that's that's so interesting. And then wondering like is. Is this an actual suit, or is this just a spirit? What's well, like... This movie is gonna be... <laughs> There's no way this movie is getting taken seriously. Like, this this is not gonna be like a taken seriously kind of horror movie, like Insidious or something like that. This is gonna be... This is gonna be a joke horror movie. And it has to be. That's what I, that's what I want from a FNAF movie. It's what I've always wanted from it. Because, like, you can't... There's no universe in which you can take any of this seriously. So it's just like, let's just have some fun with it. Man, I'm eager for that. I'm right. I'm, I'm excited to see it. Like I'm a, ugh. I need October to come already, so we can, so we can see this movie.